been a while since you've been in the workshop. Uh, the work has been going on, but who wants to see me make bush after bush after bush after bush after bush? Everyone knows how to make a bush. You drill it, you bore it, you skim the outside down and you pull it off. Push fit in. Yeah, easy. So, uh, as you can see, progress. So, this is new bushes, new pin, all the original nuts and bolts otherwise. But if I put that there, grab hold of that, watch the other wheels. Bear in mind the rod is on the other side as well. They all move when you move the back one, which phantom in my ownership has never been like that. So this one had fifth, about 15 degrees of play on it before this one even moved. And then it's some additional before this one even picked up. Now with nice new bushes everywhere, the movement is transmitted nicely. So all that remains now is to double lock tight on that nut, that bolt, and then get the that will do the other sides of it. And then I'll drop the axle again, same as I did to take these rods off. And these rods also have a nice new bush in the end. Where is my finger? Nice new original nut, new pin and bush. So here's the original pin and bush. So you can see the original pin was threaded the whole way. Mine now has a plain section on it to go through to actually engage in the crosshead. Um, threads wear quite quick because there's less metal there because it's been cut away for the thread. So that might explain why there was so much play in there. Um, as of the rest of it, bushed in cast iron, rebushed in cast iron. Uh, the other side is done as well. So we'll get both sides reconnected and then we're on to these sort of bits. So there's nothing wrong with the return cranks. There, spot on. Oh, that's the wrong side. And then you've got whatever you call these levers that go there and work the valve gear. You check that little push there. Um, I believe that pin's not bad up there from when I took it apart anyway. But there's definitely slop. In both these little die blocks. So we'll renew those. And luckily we're in this down position. We could probably get them both out without too much disassembly. Take that bolt out, take that nut off. And with some pliers, tweezers or whatever, you could probably get those die blocks out. Uh, they'll make nice new bronze ones. But, for now, let's get the motion reconnected. Uh, before I put these rods on though, this being the one for the other side, um, I will be taking it out to my test track in the garden, just to roll up and down and try and bed him in a little bit with some oil in there. Well, not a lot of oil to start with, just to break the corners off, and then we'll oil it. Keep pushing up and down a little bit. Just to bed these rods in, these new bushes in. Because they have got they are quite tight, which isn't surprising, really. They've been made to size, but that's not accounting for any wear in the boxes, any weird quartering going on. So we'll, we'll do them both up, we'll lock tight it all in, and then we'll uh, bed them in. All on, got all the main rods on, got the valve gear reconnected, and it is a lot tighter. So, uh, she's plumbed up to the uh, fridge compressor again. 
Let's uh, see what happens. I don't know if I turned it on with it. Right, let's close the regulator. We are very in gear. So at some point in a minute, that's going to want to tap. Oh, that's interesting. So, sounds like the glands are leaking. It's no bad thing to say, oh yeah, they are quite, quite, quite badly. There we can see it out of the bottom one. It's not surprising, I've only repacked them with PTFE for now. Um, and I know it does compress. There's no oil in these bit new bushes yet while we break them in. Only oil, only a little wipe of oil put around them to stop them rusting. So yeah, that gland needs repacking. And then we'll go again. So let's kill it. I'll come back to it once I've uh, packed it. Right, I've repacked it. I'm just gonna give her a flick because you know this compressor can't really keep up with it. Much better. So the remaining clanking is in the boxes. At some point she will need new boxes. Um but that's enough for now. The only real annoying thing left to fix is the drain cock linkage on the other side. Uh, the glands could do a bit more packing in them, but they'll only run in and pack down more. Let's see if we can get it to go again. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, We'll sort out this linkage, which is to push it back on, really. Uh, and at some point, the moment of truth, we will steam it and see what happens. Right, that's enough with Bantam for now. <laughs> 